guys, I'm back again, Raul TV, and this time round, I'm going to talk about the winter checks on a car. Uh, obviously, winter's here, the Christmas holidays are just around the corner, and uh, the last thing you want is you go, you're going to a loved one's house, uh, on the way there, your car breaks down. Obviously, nobody can predict the future, and if, just say, uh, the gearbox messes up, or the drive shaft snaps, or the timing belt snaps, something like that. Nothing you can do about that. That's just, that's just your luck, plain luck, basically. But the other things, you know, like checking engine oil, uh, checking antifreeze and stuff like that, um, we can be on top of them, and uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, we're going to go through uh, most of the engine stuffs and what I recommend you do for the winter. Hi right, guys, this is the engine bay. Right, first things, obviously, uh, I can't go through every, I can't get every single make of car and go through everything. So I'm just going to run through what uh, I think you should check for the winter. Um, this is uh, on a, a VW Golf, the second best-selling car in the UK uh, in 2019. The first is the uh, Ford uh, Fiesta. Uh, this is the second, second best-selling. So, right, first things first. In winter, obviously, the main thing is the antifreeze. Make sure your coolant is topped up and you have the um, uh, right colour antifreeze to go with it. If it's a red antifreeze, get the red, blue, green, whatever. They have a purple one now as well. So uh, yeah, um, make sure you top, you top it up. Make sure you have antifreeze because what happens is, if you don't have antifreeze, the water will freeze up inside the engine. When you come to start it up, all sorts of damage. Timing belts could snap. The uh, the uh, engine will uh, lock up, seize up, mess everything up. So yeah, make sure you have antifreeze in the coolant. Um, screen wash, have that in there because uh, in the winter, um, especially when, when there's salt on the motorways and on the roads, uh, when you're on the motorway, and uh, you, if you don't have a screen wash in your uh, screen wash uh, uh, bottle, obviously, um, and you want to wash the uh, windscreen, and uh, you know if if, if what happens is the salt and the grit and everything it messes it messes the windscreen up so make sure you have screen wash in there and plus it, without water you need a little bit of water to go on the windscreen or else all the salt and everything it, it just you can't see through it but basically that's that is make sure you check your engine oil which is there always keep engine oil topped up uh, check your brake fluids make sure the brake fluid is topped up uh, if, the, if the brake fluid goes down could be two reasons one you've got a leak on it or your brake pads have worn out uh, that's uh, that's the, they're the two reasons why the brake fluid should uh, you know uh, go down and it will leak uh, it's because if you've got a leak on it obviously it'll leak out or your pads are worn out and besides that you should it shouldn't really go down obviously if you've got a leak on the master cylinder brake fluid and clutch fluid should go down a little bit uh, make sure you check your spare tire spare tire make sure you check the wheel spare tire make sure all the tires above 1.6 mil minimum 1.6 mil you don't want to be uh, anything uh, below that is if you're traveling far distance everything take an RAC cover out or an AA cover out <coughs> they only cost like about 100 quid 120 quid it'll save you a lot of hassle you don't want to break down on the motorway and the last thing you want is the police coming up and uh, towing you off the motorway. It's going to cost you a lot of money. This way, at least you're covered. Peace of mind. Get an RAC cover, AA cover. Uh, what else can I say? Um, check the fan belts and stuff. See if there's any rips or tears in it. You know, you don't want to uh, uh, drive on the motorway and the uh, fan belt snap. Alternate stop charging. Um, yeah, we've checked the oil, waters. That's pretty much it. Basically, check all your lights. Check all your lights and everything before you set off. Uh, check your wiper blades. One recommendation I would say is, if it's freezing over, if it's frosty and freezing over, what what you shouldn't do is first thing in the morning turn your wiper blades on. What's going to happen is wiper blades going to get stuck to the windscreen, damage your motor, and it's going to damage your motor, damage your wiper blades, big money, more 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 cost obviously. So yeah, that's about it. But the main thing why I made this video is make sure you have your antifreeze topped up. That is the main thing, and make sure you check the tyres, 1.6 mil. If you've got snow tyres in the winter, you can go for the snow tyres in the winter. I don't don't really need to, but uh, yeah, if you want to, you can go for the snow tyres, and yeah. Make sure you check your tyre pressures as well. Um, 
I mean, you should be checking that all year round anyway. All the waters and uh, and especially in the winter, put, make sure you put antifreeze in it. Um, the tire pressures, most majority tires are about 28 to 32 in that region. Uh, make sure you, uh, they're topped up with air. Uh, obviously with air. You're not going to put nitrogen in it, are you? <laughs> Unless you have a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or something. Um, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. Smash that like button for me. Uh, like, share and subscribe. And uh, hit the bell button, notification the bell button. And yeah, I will, I will see you guys soon with another video.